taking you from this to this. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran, said no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello, my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. I am getting ready for a panel discussion later on this evening. And so I want to play around in my makeup to see what look I can create. I'm thinking it's going to be like a fall dark look. And since we're going into the holidays, I thought I'd bring you guys with me. So let's jump into it. We're going to start off with brows. You guys are working on your brows. I'm working on this wig. <laughs> it falls all different types of ways. Anyway, my face has been lotioned prepped and primed and so let me go ahead and put this behind my behind my ear not mess up the curl i am so good for just like destroying wigs trying to push it behind my ears but let's go ahead and push it behind my ear are we good we'll fix it afterwards all right so oh okay hold on and this wig loves to get into my eyes honey all right so let's go ahead and do the eyebrows everything has been prepped and primed my skin is still trying to come back from Whole Foods, honey. Oh, Lord. I'm using the Anastasia, what is the name of this pencil? Brow Definer, and I showed you guys this um, last week, and I love it because of that angle. So we're literally just going to, I drew, I drew a line at the bottom. Now we're going to start kind of in the middle and then fill it up in between. Easy peasy, okay? There we go. And one of the steps that I didn't include is just making sure that you're brushing it through. All right, so then let's do the other one. It's really important when you are doing your brows for a fall look that you wanna be a little bit more precise because the eye makeup is more intense. Okay, so there we go. We just want to fill it in a little bit. How do we look? Let's just do a little bit more. Yep, and then comb it through so that it's not too crazy. All right, so eyebrows are done. So the, where's the top? Is this the top? That's not the top. Where's the top? Uh, I will find it. It's somewhere. Where's the top? This isn't the top. Hold on. Okay. Oh, here we go. I was like, wait a minute. I can't lose the top of that, Lord. It's the foundation of all my looks. All right. So, we got to do concealer. I'm using the Milk Concealer that I have just been... I have been killing this, okay? <laughs> I hate to use that word, but... This has been my go-to. I have left everything behind because it's just so lightweight and it's not cakey. And of course, I like to take my concealer all the way around my eye. It sets the base, or it is the base for my found for my not my foundation, for my um for my eye makeup. Some people like to use the base. Sometimes I do, but for time's sake, and I do use my hands a lot. If it, oh, welcome! If you guys are new. Or you haven't seen one of my tutorials, I use my hands a lot. It just warms up the makeup and it just feels better to me. All right, so there's that. Now, the look I'm wanting to go for because I want to do a dark lip. Okay. And so I'm and I'm wearing like this pink magenta. And so I'm I want to stay like in that vein. So I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. And you can check out the colors that are in this palette. I'm going to stay like in here, but I do want it smoky. And so I'm going to use for the browns. I'm going to dip into my um, uh, dose of colors palette, baked browns. All right. So for the transition shade, Maverick is out, out there. So if you hear him going crazy because he wants to get in the room. All right, so for the transition shade, I'm going to go ahead and use Amber. And I'm just going to lightly dust right here is the transition shade. 
you're just basically rolling the eye, okay? And then taking it up a little bit, okay? This is not to coat the whole, the whole eye. You're just rolling the eyeball, okay? Just going right in here. And then I like to take it up a little bit. So just rolling the eye, come in a little bit, and then just go out a little bit, okay? All right. So I'm going to use my fingers. And I think I, I try to stay away from shimmers, but I just love a shimmer. The lips, I haven't decided if the lips are going to be matte or glossy. Let's go ahead and do a matte purple. I think that's where I'm going. So I'm going to go in with amethyst right here. You can see a dark purple. Now you may be asking, Dion, why aren't you using a brush? Hmm, why aren't I using the brush? I find that there's typically more shadow on the brush than than like than gets on my eye. Um, and that's not always the case. It's just I'm so used to doing it with my fingers because I can place it wherever I want it. Right? So I have a little right there, which wouldn't happen. The brush is definitely more precise. Um, yeah, I would advocate for the brush or your finger, whichever one makes you feel more comfortable. All right, and so what I'm gonna do again, what I like to do is use the excess and go along my, my lower lash line, okay? So I'm just taking the excess and going along my lower lash line. For me, that's smoking it out, okay? All right, so we're gonna do the same to the other eye, just dip into it. And we're just gonna coat your lid. Again, I use my finger, you can use a brush. And I do use a brush sometimes, it's just, I really just wanna see how this feels with the finger. All right, let's do a little bit more. This right, and you're just going up to where the transition shade was, okay? And then you're gonna use the excess and just coat the lower lash line. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna take a separate brush. I'm just gonna, I'm just wiping it off right here. I'm gonna take a separate brush and I'm gonna go, oh, it does have a brown. I'm gonna go into Oud, which is actually darker in the palette than, than it's showing up on camera. So I'm gonna go into Oud and I'm gonna mix it with that amethyst because I, I want like a purpley brown. And I'm just gonna go in the outer corner just to smoke it out a bit. Okay. Again, I'm going to go into Oud and Amethyst and just smoke it out a bit. Okay, and I'm just going to take it up a little bit. All right, I'm going to do the same here. Repetition, Oud and Amethyst. And I'm just going to go and work that inner, that outer corner. I'm going to take it out a bit. What you don't want are any harsh lines. So I'm saying like, this is a harsh line. You need to buff that out. Okay, buff that out. And it's typically a harsh line because I use my finger. Okay, so that's the, the plus or minus of using a finger. All right. Um, Where's my liner? So I'm going to use a purple liner. Let me get the liner. Hold on. All right, so like a hair just like right here come on don't go in my eye all right so i'm gonna use a purple liner this is a purple liner from sephora okay here listen be nice <laughs> be nice and i'm just gonna line that lower lash line we're not going in the eye we're just going in that lower lash line. Okay. Same here. Uh, 
I don't do a liquid line or anything on the top just because I don't like it. <laughs> there's no like, there's no like real reason, like a, it's just a preference. Um, and I'm just tucking this so that we can see the eye. All right. So this is a lash that I got from Wicon in Italy. It's called Fairy Lashes and I really like it. I want to say this was like 15 euro, something like that but I love the wand. And my lashes kind of go crisscross, so I need something that like goes through and like, oh, look at this. Goes through and straightens it out. Like the Benefit Bad Gal Lash is my number one. It's like a, almost like a lash perm in a bottle because it combs through my lashes. And this is doing the same thing. I promise you, I would have definitely gotten a few more had I known that that's what this would do. I love this mascara. Look what it did. You see that? Just combed through my lashes. Almost looks like falsies. All right. And then we're gonna do the other eye. I know some of you are just like, do we really need to see you comb through your lashes? You don't have to, honey. You can fast forward through this part, but I know you love me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I really, like when the cameras are not rolling, this is my favorite part of makeup. It's just going through each lash and making sure they're all coated to the gods. But I won't do that here. This one hair is like, <laughs> I'm just going to yank it out. All right. So now we move into foundation. So the foundation we're gonna do today is actually one that I got at the at the Fasora at the F F F uh, Sephora sale. Um, and this is the Milk Makeup. Again, I love the packaging. Milk Makeup Flex Foundation in uh, foundation stick in color cinnamon. And so this is the first time I'm using it. Okay, let's introduce you. Now, this is the thing. Why would you give white and foundation don't go together, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> so, mm, look at that. So I'm gonna kind of put that on and then I'm gonna use my stippling. Woo, do you see that? Mm. Because it's a stick and it's heavier, you don't necessarily have to do too much work. You just kind of want to move it to where it needs to be. It's very creamy. Make sure you blend it into your neck, ladies. <laughs> and I typically don't put foundation on my forehead because I don't really have anything to cover up. So we're just going to do a few more. I'm not talking because I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking. How do we like this one? I need to see it when the light isn't on. And I have my mirror here. Those areas that you need, and that's why I love a stick because if there are areas that need a little bit more, let's put this away. Just stipple that in. And I will leave a link to all of these in the description box. All right. So I was looking for my other NARS um, blush, but it's it's somewhere here. I typically, when I'm doing a, a fall look, I don't want anything with shimmer, but I'm going to go ahead and use, go ahead and use Taj Mahal because I love the orange, the orange glow of it all. All right, and then I'm going to powder with my Gucci powder. And I'm doing that because I actually wanna powder my lips as well. Mm. 
And I do put powder up here for the shine. All right, so the eyes are done. Everything's done. Now we go to lips. I'm not gonna line my lips because I'm using the Fenty, um, oh, ee, get away. The Fenty, oh gosh, Rihanna, why did you put the, can you see that? <laughs> yeah, neither can I. Um, undefeated. It's the Fenty, um, not lip stain, but the matte lipstick in Undefeated. One thing you want to make sure you do is do a sugar scrub on your lips because this will show up, will show every crease and crinkle. So I'm not using a liner because this doesn't move. <laughs> I always do that when I put on a dark gloss. I mean, a dark lip. This may be too dark for what I'm trying to do. Immediately, no. Let me see. I feel like, I feel like this is too dark. Hmm. I like the eyes but the lip is feeling too dark. What do we think? I don't think I want a purple. I think I want more of like a ruby. Let's try again. Hold please. Okay, so take that off. All right, stop, let's try again. So this is a Chanel lip pencil in 192 okay so i'm gonna go for a lipstick which is the we'll see i'll, I'll show you after so ooh, okay all right ooh. A, little bit of a remnant okay <laughs> And so what I'm gonna do is kinda color in the ends, bring the liner in. Yeah, this is feeling better. The other one was too much. I think if I had a nude eye and that lip, I'd be fine, but. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna go in with Ladies Night by Huda Beauty. Yes, this is what I wanted. Mmm, yes. Sorry I'm so quiet, but when I'm like <laughs> putting it together, Yes, 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 yes. This is the look that I'm going for. I'm going for Channel 6 News Realness is what I'm going for. <laughs> okay, so do we want to take it up a notch? Let's do it, and then if we don't like it, we'll take it off, okay? So I have the lip gloss, Chanel lip gloss in 768. I like the matte. I really don't want to touch this, but we can, listen, it's makeup. You can wipe it off, okay? So if you want to do a gloss for the holidays, oh, that's really pretty. Oh, hold on. Oh, I actually like that. Oh, this is nice for the holidays. Mm. I feel like this is a very quiet video. <laughs> Not too much, you know, just what do we prefer? 
I think for the holidays, like a holiday party, this very, this is very much like, yeah. Oh, I feel pretty. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like this. I think for the holidays, this works. I'm gonna be doing a panel discussion, so I think the gloss would be distracting. I think all the men in the audience would just be paying attention to my lips. <laughs> but I love this look. Thank you guys for joining me. If you want more fall makeup tutorials, uh, fall holiday tutorials, I should say, because the holidays are full of so many parties and we just need some inspiration so that we don't get bored and go out there and buy things that we don't need. So I'm playing with things that I have and um, I really like this. So if you want more, definitely like and subscribe and let me know a holiday look that you'd be interested in seeing me recreate. All right, love you guys. Mwah. Bye. I never ran sitting on man, I still go, go.